What is up, everybody? My name is Scott Waters. Welcome to the Let's Metal. It's time for yet another big edition of The Mail. That's right. Tough edition of The Mail. And this edition of The Mail is brought to you by a good friend of mine. He does not do VC videos, does not actually do any videos at all. Um, his name is Dean Kinney. Dean is uh, a drummer who has played in many bands, but um, here's a drumstick that Dean gave to me. Um, a little while ago. He's a good friend of mine, but this, uh, here you go, it's autographed by him to me. But he played in various bands, including um, on this album. This is, oops, <laughs> this is uh, Banshee, Mind Slave, killer, killer album. One of my favorites, actually. I play this album a lot. Um, I've always liked Banshee to begin with. Great US power metal band. Um, this album kind of has a vibe. Um, that I've never heard anybody quite pull off where it sounds like Banshee, but at the same time it's got kind of a, um, a Black Sabbath Dio era vibe to it. It's just so awesome. Um, anyhow, hopefully this won't be coming out in vinyl in the next year or so. But anyhow, Dean did play a couple songs on this album um, and several other bands. But let me get right into this. Here's the box. It's in a record box. I don't know that there's a record in here because this thing is just packed. I don't know how he got all this stuff. <laughs> so much junk shoved into this box. Um, so let's see what's in here. Um, in the background is playing a band whose name I can never pronounce, Novoi Zovet, Novoi Zovet, Apocalypse, a Russian heavy metal, doom, thrash, <laughs> a little bit of everything band. Oh my goodness. Hang on a second, I gotta cut this thing open. Okay, there it is. Got my handy knife. And uh, we're gonna go ahead and finally got this box open. It was very, very well taped. <laughs> uh, stiffener. Uh, there's a t-shirt right on the top. I think I know what the t-shirt is because I'm pretty sure he told me what it was. Yes, this is a uh, one of my all-time favorite bands. Raven, the pack is back. Definitely not one of my favorite shirts by them, but still just a killer shirt. I mean, Indicative of the times, you know, pack is back. I always thought they kind of had that, you know, well, it was a unique look for them, but then again, it also kind of reminded me of like a Twisted Sister thing, you know, uh, wearing all the hockey equipment stuff. Just not their greatest album. Like I said, one of my favorite, all time favorite bands. One of the greatest bands come out of the New Wave of British heavy metal movement in the 80s, if you ask me. Uh, this is um, Medicine Wheel Small Talk. I'm not wearing my glasses, so excuse me if I. I usually wear contacts usually, but I have neither on right now. Um, small Talk. I'm not familiar with this band. And this is one of Dean's bands, perhaps. But uh, he, he, I'm sure he probably told me about this band. The whole autograph is actually CD'd. You know, actually, the whole autograph is CD'd. The whole CD is autographed. There you go. Yeah, I'm not familiar with this one, so I'll have to check this one out. Maybe one of you guys knows who this is. This is Medicine Wheel, the small talk, and it is actually completely autographed. Um, two drumsticks in here. <laughs> this top one's very cool. Uh, he's good friends with uh, um, Daryl from The Killer Dwarfs, a Canadian heavy metal band from the 80s, and I dig The Killer Dwarfs. I mean, I still think Stan Tall is one of my favorite albums from them, but they didn't really release a bad album. Um, kind of along the same lines as Helix, you know, people kind of thought of them as a uh, pop or hair metal band and they kind of had some of that vibe going on, but they never really, you know, went for the, I don't know, it wasn't all about ballads and every rose has a thorn and all that kind of stuff. It was more, um, I don't know, straightforward heavy metal to me, you know, it was Canadian metal, but still. Uh, this is a Johnny D. This is a Johnny D. It looks like a used Johnny D pick. Pick. I should just start this over because I'm still in a hard time. For those of you who didn't, don't know or don't probably don't even care, um, I had a procedure done today, so I'm still kind of a little loopy from the, from the drugs that I took earlier. And uh, anyhow, it's over. I'm home. This box arrived, so I'm going to show it anyhow. So if I trip over words and look like I'm half alive, yeah, you know why. But anyhow, there you can go. You can see the Doro logo, Johnny D. That's really cool. Like I said, he's a drummer and he has a lot of friends and, and bands all over the all over the world and. Um, he, he's got like a, one of Killer Dwarf's actual big drum heads from the tour with the, you know, everything painted on the front of it. That's really, really cool. Alright, 
No stiffener. This is, um, okay, he did tell me, he definitely told me about this. And this is cool because I've never actually seen this. I'm not a huge comic book collector, but I do have a, a, a small collection of comic books that are, you know, music related. Alice Cooper and Kiss and Aerosmith and uh, Cheap Trick, I think I have over there. And, um, this is a uh, Soldier of God um, featuring uh, Robert Sweet of Striper. So it's basically a, a Striper comic book. Um, I can't remember when this was. It was pretty. This is number two. I think there's a year on here somewhere, a publishing year. It's quite a while ago. It's not a recent release. 1992, this came out. So, um, what's it called? Soldier of God. So I assume it's a Christian comic book. Quest Comics, where the end is just the beginning. I don't know. I assume it is, just because it's Striper and the name of the, the comic. But, awesome. Um, if I ever get to meet Robert Sweet again, I'll have to have him sign this, because that's a pretty awesome, pretty awesome thing. Uh, okay, and I know where that came from, because this was included with it. This is Janice Sweet, who of course was Striper's manager for many, many, many years, and is the, also their mother. Um, autographed, God bless you, Janice Sweet. Still more in here. Um, this is, oh, the Tracy G Group. Um, and that's, this is actually autographed too. Tracy G, who of course was in um, Dio for many years as, the, as their single guitar player, um, recorded two or three albums with them, and then uh, he left. And he was also with a band whose name is slipping me now, with a with a singer whose name was Burrito, and they put out this uh, very uh, odd. I don't know how else to say it. Um, Christian album that it was also very judgmental kind of stuff. It was like very in your face about what they believed and, and, and what they thought was right and wrong. And it was it was an interesting album. I really wasn't my style musically, but Tracy played on that. He's put out some solo material, and here's one of them right here. This one is from uh, 2016. This is just from last year. So that's cool. I'll check this out. Tracy G. Uh, this is I'm not sure what this is a this is a poster that's now a pancake. <laughs> it got a little bit smashed in the box. Oh, this is Doro. This is a cool poster. It's, I'll have to see how flat and like flat out I can get this thing, but that's really nice. She's still, a, you know, a very gorgeous woman. Doro is. That's cool. That's a pretty big tour poster. Speaking of Banshee, an extra copy of Banshee, which I actually did ask him for um, to send to somebody else. So that's going to be a, a BCLT going out to somebody else. Yeah, there's all kinds of little stuff in here. So let's see what else. Well, let's look at this first. This is Classic Rock Magazine with Motorhead on the front. The classic Motorhead from the 70s lineup. Um, yeah, only one of these guys left, you know. We, we lost Lemmy and uh, the Animal right there, both of them have passed in the last few years, and then of course Fast Eddie Clark, who's been in Fast Way uh, ever since Leaving Motorhead, pretty much. So, I like these classic rock magazines. Oh, there you go. A little uh, Joe Perry there, Aerosmith, Steven Tyler. Permanent Vacation. Very cool. I love magazines. I, I do. I have. I especially love the old '70s magazines. I collect some, you know, some from Cream and Hit Parader and some of the '80s ones, you know, from the metal magazines. But these newer rock magazines are pretty cool too. Classic rock magazines. All right. Here's a. Um, this is Rat Collage on CD. Yeah, there's a kind of stuff in here. Hi. Right. This is kind of, I call this stuff swag. This is the, I, I have, I actually have videos of this kind of stuff. I've got, um, you know, boxes and boxes full of um, this, this is cool rock memorabilia stuff that I keep. Um, this is uh, Martin Anderson, bass player for Lizzie Borden. I have met him one time. Such a nice guy, man. 
Uh, I went to see um, Wasp and Lizzie Borden at a small club in Albuquerque, and I love Wasp. I mean, they're like awesome live, and but and I've seen them more than one time. But this particular show, Lizzie Borden just stole the show. I mean, after Lizzie walked off the stage, I felt bad for Wasp because they were just so good. Um, and Wasp were still good too, but yeah, Lizzie was like the star of the show that day. They came out to their merch table afterwards and signed autographs for everybody. Very, very cool guys, and um, I love Lizzie Borden, so that's a very cool item to add to my, my swag collection. This is a really old 80s uh, Banshee 5x7 promo photo. That's cool to have. I love, I collect these things too. I've got, again, this is part of the swag that I, I love so much. Uh, this looks like a letter. Oh, this is a Mark. This is a Mark Ferrari from uh, Keel. It's one of his guitar picks, taped to a to a letter from an autograph from Mark. So uh, I have to decide if I actually want to take it off or I just want to leave it like that. <laughs> That's pretty cool, like that. Um, oh, this is the one thing I knew was coming that I was looking forward to the most. Um, I can get it out of here without messing it up. This is a um, Wicked Kin Born Killers CD. And uh, this is um, just a really rare, hard CD to get. But the drummer in this band was Dean Kinney. Hard to tell on this picture who is who. But there's the. Uh, it came in, it just, it has a, um, I guess it's a promo sheet of some sort that it came in like this. I'll have to find a case to put that in. But I, this is the one thing I was looking forward to hearing the most. I've heard a lot about them and I knew that Dean was in that band, but I didn't realize that it was, uh, did not realize that uh, he was going to uh, send me that. Yeah, they also released a cassette tape demo too, so. Uh, another 8x10, this is autographed, um, this is Rags, 8x10 promo photo, oh and here's the, uh, this is actually the promo sheet for the um, Wicked Kin, very dry. I had a hard time. I should have waited. Uh, I didn't realize how much this drugs was going to affect me. Um, this is Paradise on Retrospect Records. Again, this is an 8x10 promo, uh, autographed by the band. I'm not familiar with this band, but uh, from the looks of them, they kind of have that uh, that 80s, you know, sleazy glam rock, which I, I of course dig. I just did a video on that style of music not too long ago. And this last one is from um, oh, there's one more from the Zeros. And the two is autographed by the whole band. And then finally, this is a uh, oh, this is a um, really old picture out of a magazine, but it's, this is Banshee. I'm trying to see if Dean's picture in this or not, because he he didn't play in our, in our classic E's albums. He played after that. Um, I don't know. He doesn't look to be on here, but this, yeah, this is a classic '80s picture from an old magazine. You can see the. That's pretty cool. I can't see who it's autographed by. Again, I forgot to put a contact in before I started doing this. It's been a day. <laughs> so anyhow, uh, so that's what was in this awesome package. I mean, that little box had all that stuff in it. So um, this is going to be a long video. I apologize for that, but there's some really cool stuff in here. Um, the Banshee album that I showed twice in this video. Man, definitely, uh, if you don't have it, pick it up. And... Um, or wait, because uh, we are working with, with Dean and, uh, and the guitar player from Banshee on possibly releasing that album on my new record label, No Electro Metal Records, on vinyl um, within the next year. So I'm hoping that happens. So anyhow, appreciate y'all watching. Uh, pardon my tripping over my own words for the whole video. Uh, but that's it. God bless. Stay strong.